welcome in a new video and in this video we are going to understand about operating system okay so we are going to understand about operating system okay so in this video we are going to take an overview about operating system that what is an operating system okay we are going to understand about the functionality of an operating system and how what, what type of services basically operating system provide means we have in this video we are going to understand about operating system okay so let's start first of all what is an operating system so operating system is nothing it's just a program <coughs> operating system is what operating system is a program operating system is a program which is loaded in a system to perform various tasks or to per to interact with hardware okay so what is an operating system operating system basically a program which is loaded in a computer system to interact with hardware okay so this is what an operating system is so i hope it is clear to you that what is an operating system okay now operating uh, now let's see that how basically it interact with an hardware uh, with the help of a diagram let's take its a uh, uh, user so what basically user want in a computer system it want to perform some task is want to perform open some application user want to perform some uh, is user want to create some folder so whatever user want to perform in a system it says to an operating system to do that okay because user cannot interact directly to the hardware user uh, let's say it's an hardware so user cannot interact directly user cannot interact directly to the hardware okay so for that the middle person which simply convert the user one what basically the user want and do that thing with the hardware means if user want to add something some if user want to add a file if user want to create a folder if user want to do anything then user say to that this thing to an operating system and operating system interact with an hardware and perform the task okay user cannot interact directly to the hardware this is a very important thing that you need to remember okay so user cannot talk directly to an uh, user cannot talk directly to an hardware it can directly talk to the operating system so you can write it as well that user can directly directly talk to operating system user can directly talk to operating system so whatever the whatever the user want to create if you uh, okay so let's take an example of an operating system if you right click on your sys uh, system so what are the options you will get okay so these options are basically uh, operating system functionality there are some so many smart people who write the code and simply write the code uh, if that code will be written by some uh, intelligent people and that code was loaded in your system and whatever the thing you see is basically the functionality which that people added for example uh, okay so let's see an example like uh, if i click any of them for, for example if i click on okay so i click randomly on this uh, desktop and if i go to new and here you can see that lot of functionality okay so lot of functionality if i go on new you see lot of functionality so these are basically the functionality which is written in operating system these all thing was done by an operating system whether you want to create a folder shortcut my and whatever these thing whatever the stuff you look these thing was done by operating system okay user cannot directly do that thing okay so for uh, if user want to that they can so for that he need to write that long code to do if for example if uh, user want to create a folder so user have to write a code of to create a folder and then you have to execute that code and then the folder is created but uh, in the case if you have an operating system so what happen then 
so there are a uh, smart people who write this code already which is an operating system which is written uh, with basically uh, operating system is nothing simply a set of programs okay so programs like some functionality like create folder and a numerous functionality okay so that's why you if you right click on your desktop you will see so many functionality because operating system gives you that uh, functionality okay so this is what the role of an operating system which create a life very easy it a user can directly contact to an operating system to do whatever they want to do and then it's a operating system duty to perform that task simple okay so this is what this is what an operating system is remember this thing operating system cannot talk directly uh, sorry user cannot talk directly to an hardware operate with the help of an operating system it can do that thing. okay so operating system layer is placed okay. so operating system layer is placed and operating system contact to hardware to get the memory to get anything okay and user contact to operating system user can contact to some applications as well application for example uh, in your desktop there are so many folders in your desktop there are so many folders so these folders are applications so whatever you see is an application you see my video on a youtube so that's also an application you go on a youtube and then you search for that particular video or you get that particular video so these things are application so user can talk directly to an application and application talk to an operating system okay so user want to play user need this thing so operating system you can uh, uh, for example if uh, if uh, uh, user want to download some file from an internet so it simply open the application and then application contact to an operating system to arrange this much space so that this thing can add it in a system okay so this is what a diagram is okay so this is what an operating system the basic overview of an operating system okay so now uh, what we understand in this case uh, with this scenario that operating without operating system we cannot talk we cannot do anything okay so without operating system we cannot do anything so operating sy system is what operating system is a control program so many program is written to interact with an hardware and perform some tasks whatever the user want to do okay so it's basically act like a government it's basically act like a government is uh, uh, for example a like government form some policies and that policies is basically used by the people so similar in this case as well operating system have some functionality and that functionality will be used by a user okay so this is uh, what an operating system is now let's move towards the thing which is the services that operating system provide okay so services that operating system provides so what are the services that operating system provide so services like is first of all is a user interface user interface so what is a user interface so whatever you see in our in your system is basically a user interface the mac operating there are so many operating system like windows like android operating system which if you are using an android uh android system android application and android basically system then you will see an android type of user interface if you are using mac then you see a different kind of user interface user interface means whatever the application you see on your system is basically a user interface okay it's, it, it, it's also called gui which is graphical user interface okay graphical user interface so operating what operating system do operating system provide a user interface means whatever you see on your desktop is basically provided by an operating system okay so it's kind of very easy thing okay if you want to create a folder you can easily do that if you want to open an application you can easily open that application by double click on that application okay so that's why you uh, whatever you, that's why the user interface is important okay and this thing was provided by an operating system so uh, uh, let's assume that if you are using a system where there is no 
user interface then how you interact with an hardware how you perform your task with how, how your system basically perform your task so it's kind of an impossible thing okay so this is a very important services that operating system basically provide second thing uh, which is program execution program execution so now this is a very important thing very very important you can write like this important okay why i said this is a very important thing because the main operating system provides so many services okay like user interface and we see that this is also a very important thing but the most important thing most important services that operating system provide is a program execution okay so uh, uh, whatever the program is how b that program is basically execute or not okay so this thing the uh, execution of a program uh, is basically done by an operating system and this is a very important feature of an operating system okay and the third which is the input output operation input output operation uh, for example if uh, if user want to take an input from a printer if user want to take an input from uh, from and from keyboard from anywhere basically okay so that input output operation is also done by an operating system you create some word file okay let's take an example you create a word file and okay so you create a word file you write some data as well you want to print that data you want to print that data so you say to printer this is what a printer you said printer that print this file so this is what an output operation if you want to uh, 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 and printer can do an input operation as well a scanner can do an input operation as that as you scan some document and whatever their document is is seen in your system so this is what an input operation okay and these input output operation is basically done with the help of an operating system is this thing which done with the help of an operating system so this is also services which provide which, which operating system basically provide okay so now uh, what are the other services other services like file system manipulation file system manipulation now what does that mean file system manipulation means if you want to manipulate the file if you want to uh, uh, if you want to create a file if you want to delete a file if you want to save a file means you write this data okay now what you do is there is a logo of file uh, there is a logo of file and when you click on that logo you will see numerous option like uh, save save as so these thing when you click on a save as button so uh, your file is basically save or if you click control s which is also for a save thing when you click that it's control s this thing is also basically done by an operating system means when you click control plus s it it basically the user want to share to an operating system that save this file okay what user want to do if user uh, do control s user want to save the file so that save of that file is basically done by an operating system okay so the uh, this thing basically done by an operating system how it done uh, it is a thing which is called system call okay so when user uh, user basically click control plus s so system call is uh, gone to an operating system then operating system get the data like control plus s for the save so operating system perform that program which is used for save this file and this is how the operating system save the file so whatever user want to do user want to say this thing to an operating system with the and when when user say this thing a system call is happen and syst when system call is happen means it's now operate a system call basically say to an operating system to perform this task which user want to do okay so we see that system call uh, uh, in an upcoming videos in detail but this is what uh, file manipulation is basically if you want to save a file if you want to delete a file or whatever the stuff you want to do
and the other uh, there are so many services basically operating system provide like error detection means okay so error detection means the error is there in a file in a system this is also uh, basically detect by an operating system the resource allocation is also resource allocation resource allocation is also done by an operating system means allocating a particular resources for a particular uh, file or particular program okay so this thing is also done by an operating system okay so this is what uh, operating system services is and there are so many services there are a few of them and these are the important ones okay and there are one more thing which is a communication means means process means how operating system basically com communicate to a process means uh, if we have a numerous process like example p1 p2 p3 and these process want to execute these process want to execute so it who execute these process the process directly cannot go to a cpu to execute these process di cannot directly go to a cpu to execute so who help them to execute operating system is a one so operating system is a one who said who basically okay so operating system is a one and they are numerous program and we have cpu so operating system is a one who send these processes to cpu to execute okay operating system is the one who is responsible to sending a process to a cpu to execute their task to execute their program okay so this is what a program execution means which is also an important feature because if what, what basically a rule of a system if they whatever the user want and these thing cannot done means if user want to execute something and this thing is not executing then what's the use of that system so operating system is the one who is responsible for that to sending a process to cpu to execute okay so that's why i said that it's a very important feature of an operating system to uh, execute a process execute a program execute a program okay so this is a important uh, these are the main uh, services that operating system basically provide okay and uh, uh, and you can write one more example which is communication communication means process 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 to process communication is also very important and this thing was done by an operating system means for example uh, uh okay so i record this video with the a software which is a uh, obs okay so here you can see that i record this video with this obs software and this software basically connect uh, and in this system of the one program one pro one uh, program is running and my mic is also connected my uh, pen uh, my pad is or uh, pen pad is also connected so these all things are communicating each other okay here you can see that i write something and this thing is recorded and my voice is also recorded so many program is also running in the background so these communication between one to an one program to another program or inter process communication this is what called inter process communication okay so these thing is also done by an operating system okay so communication is very important so uh, uh, and input output operation is also done by the communication means if you operating system communicate to a printer then only the input or an output operation can perform so that's why what i said that program uh, okay so uh, this is what meaning of a communication yes. this is what a meaning of a communication is means communicating different processes is basically a communication or you can say inter process communication enter process communication okay so i hope it is understand that what is an inter process communication now let's move towards the next thing which is the goal of an operating system this is a very also very important thing okay goals of operating system goals of an operating system so what are the goals what are the things that operating system 
basically provide or like what are the things that uh, what, what basically a goal of an operating system why we are using an operating system what is the need of an operating system basically okay so the first thing is what uh, convenience or a uh, user friendly because user cannot directly talk to an hardware user cannot directly perform some functions so the first important point as well is what convenience is what convenience okay convenience or you can say user friendly the second important thing is efficiency okay so second important thing is what efficiency now let's see this thing that what the meaning of an efficiency is let's see uh, okay so one more thing that you have to understand is that operating system is placed in a main memory okay in a ram or you can say main memory okay so operating system means the set of a programs to perform some function some fu uh, operating system is what operating system is basically a set of programs so these set of programs these set of programs are stored in main memory and what happen then uh, what what basically there in a main memory the pro uh, the programs that wanna execute and this is what a cpu program cannot directly goes to a cpu user cannot send program directly to a cpu it's an operating system who send program who send program to the cpu let's say operating system send program number 1 to a cpu okay so program number 1 execute and for some time uh, after some time p1 want to take input p1 want to perform input output operation p1 want to perform input output operation so what happens is now now it's waiting to get an input now p1 is there in a cpu p1 is there in a cpu now the p1 is basically wait to get some input p1 is wait to get some input means when the input came then p1 again execute if input is not come if, if input is not given to the cpu is not given to this p1 then then p1 is not in an execute executable form basically okay so the program is not in an executable form now program is not become a process okay so these thing basically create a cpu empty these thing create cpu empty what happen if uh, p1 leave the cpu and wait to for an input till then p okay so till then p2 can get a cpu and execute their program so this thing uh, happen if this thing happen then cpu is basically utilized very efficiently because when p1 is there in a cpu if there is some input needed to execute a p1 program but the input is basically take some time because input output operation takes some time okay so till then till then till then cpu is basically empty cpu is not efficiently used to execute a program so these uh, to to overcome this problem operating system is basically used okay so p1 is there execute if there is some input output operation it not it basically not create empty cpu means cpu is now not become empty p1 wait for input operation but till then till that uh, millisecond time p2 means the other process is basically come and execute okay and these thing basically done in a milliseconds of time so it basically uh, this thing basically done with a very 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 fast okay in a milliseconds okay so uh, for example if you're seeing my video on a youtube and you are playing something on a background as well okay uh, for example if you are listening music and you are playing game okay so two process is basically running at a time two things is running at a time so how basically this thing running what i said is that at a time cpu can execute only one process one program cpu can only execute one program okay let's understand this thing as well that cpu and this is operating system program p2 p3 okay 
सो द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज सी पी कैन एग्जीक्यूट वन प्रोग्राम एट अ टाइम ओके सो इफ पी वन इज देयर इन अ सी पी यू दैन पी टू कैन नॉट गेट दैट सी पी यू ओके बट यू आर यूजिंग टू प्रोसेस मीन्स यू आर लिसनिंग म्यूजिंग प्लेइंग गेम्स समथिंग इज ऑल ऑल्सो रनिंग इन योर बैकग्राउंड मीन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू आर आर रिकॉर्डिंग अ गेम प्ले सो मीन्स थ्री प्रोसेस इज रनिंग एट अ टाइम थ्री प्रोसेस इज रनिंग एट अ टाइम बट सी पी कैन ओनली एबल टू एग्जीक्यूट वन प्रोग्राम दैन हाउ दिस थिंग इज पॉसिबल दिस थिंग इज पॉसिबल बिकॉज of context switching and this thing we will see this thing in an upcoming video but this, but this is possible because p1 is there in a millisecond it in a millisecond it, this thing basically done in a very 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 small time okay in a milliseconds milliseconds okay so p1 and then it leaves cpu p2 come p2 leave cpu p3 come then again p1 come then again p2 come then again p3 come then it leave p1 p2 p3 means one program goes to a cpu in a millisecond of a time it leave and other program execute it leave other program execute it leave other program execute and this thing was done in a very milliseconds of time you cannot even notice this thing uh, but this is how your system basically behave this is how the cpu basically work cpu can only able to execute one process at a time and this is how this thing basically work means you are listening a music in a millisecond it is stop and your game is start in a millisecond game is stop and the other thing is start these thing are uh, basically going on going on going on running 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 and you are not able to notice because these changes these switches in a process is basically done in a millisecond this is this is so you can see that how efficiently cpu is used cpu will not become empty not uh, not basically uh, it's not be uh, become empty means not no process is there so this thing not happen so this efficient use of cpu is done by an operating system so this is what the meaning of an efficiency is it uh, efficiently use the system it basically efficiently use the system it efficiently use the functions it efficiently use the hardware and the cpu okay so i hope it is clear to you that what is the meaning of an efficiency and the now let's see another point which is a portability what does mean of a portability portability means operating system can install in any system means uh for example if you have an operating system android android operating system basically window operating system okay so window operating system can install and install any devices okay so if you have any type of system means um, any type of a system okay doesn't matter window can easily install on that thing but can you do this thing with a mac operating system no mac operating system can only be only be installed on an basically on an macbook or an ios device on an apple product okay this is the meaning of a portability means that operating system can easily install on any device